everybody, this is Seth Aaron from Children18.3. Tonight I'm going to be answering a few of your questions and then showing y'all what I'm playing on my, as far as my drum setup these days. So, what do you do when you aren't on tour or recording? Um, well, this winter I'm working in a shop fixing, uh, fixing things, maintenance, 10 hours a day and trying to keep up with drumming, band stuff, and training as well, so the weeks fly by. Your favorite drummers? Matt Greiner, Travis Barker, I like what Adam Gray from the band Texas in July does a lot, uh, John Blackwell, Aaron Spears, a lot of the a lot of the gospel guys, all that circuit. I, I watch a lot of those videos and try to learn. I don't know, probably five, six, seven years ago, my favorite drummer was a guy by the name of Lance Garvin from the band Living Sacrifice. And oh man, he was he was awesome. I don't know how many times I played through the hammering process and conceived in fire. So he was definitely a huge inspiration. Rule of thirds. Rule of thirds. I'll be in this third. <laughs> Alright, this is uh, my current setup. MBW custom kit from my friend Michael in South Carolina. Yeah. Maple shells. I'm playing a 10 by 6, 12 by 7, 16 by 14 inch uh, toms and a 20, 22 by 20 inch kick. How many hours a day do you practice? Um, well, usually um, in the winter time I get a lot more time to rehearse, generally because we don't tour as much. Um, but this year I've been working full time, so not quite as much as the past years. I still try to do about an hour, depending on what's going on, an hour, two hours. Try to practice by myself and then we rehearse generally. Before, before I was working full time, I would say in the winter, more like two, three, sometimes four hours. Is Schrodinger's cat dead or alive? I'm gonna go with, uh, I don't think he made it this time. When are you guys coming back to Albuquerque, New Mexico? Well, I do not know. I have an oak stave snare I'm, I'm playing. My buddy Dave built me. And over here, at home my setup's a little different because I kind of expand and and have fun with it. Um, right here I have a 12 by 6 20 ply maple that uh, I have fun jamming with. There's a second side snare here. How long have you been drumming? Um, I started playing drums in 1999, so it's about 14 years, something like that, 13, 14 years. If you could smell any candle in the world, what would it be? <laughs> well, I'm a big fan of uh, cinnamon. Based on the kind of music you guys play, what styles or artists might we be surprised to find out Seth listens to and enjoys? Hmm. Well, I really like um, R&B, gospel, some hip hop. Probably my favorite artist of this past year, as far as um, that type of genre, would be Keisha Cole. I like her her stuff a lot. I listen. Definitely just get in the groove and play along with uh, with her stuff a lot. I like big band. I like some country. Um, Supernatural Impact Crashes, 18 and 19, and High Hats, and a 10 inch splash. Really kind of dark and warm and just play really well. Um, over here I have a uh, Zildjian Oriental Crash. It's an 18 inch. I have a mini one over here. It's a 13. And I just got this today. It's a Sabian HHX Groove Ride. I like it a lot so far. It's got a nice bell. Currently I'm playing Evans EC2s in my toms. I kind of switch it out between uh, the EC2s and the G2, G2 clears. Promark Eon Pace. Signature model. A nice round ball tip for good balance doing rudiments. I got a LP chop block over here. 
A DW7000 series double pedal. I practice with a double pedal for, uh, for lessons and and uh, just jamming. And live for children 18 I use a single, single DW7000.